Hey guys, welcome back to another very interesting video of our channel Versatile Knowledge and today I'm going to be telling you guys how you can remove all the bloatware and all the ads on the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max. So this is my Redmi Note 10 Pro Max and one thing that I've noticed on this device is the presence of all these bloatware. So for example, there are a lot of Google apps guys, Google Files, there is uh, uh, the Google Pay app, Google One application is there, Get apps that is present, there is Facebook that is present which is kind of okay because most of the people use Facebook. Also there is the the Mi Pay, Mi Remote, Mi Music and a lot of applications are present by default guys. There is the app such as Google Podcast which is present on the device which you can uninstall right on the phone itself. Just click on uninstall now and the Google Podcast application will be uninstalled on the phone itself. But there are a few applications such as the Get Apps application which cannot be uninstalled on the phone. So if you long press over here and go to App Info, there is no option to uninstall over here. So if you go to the settings over here, as you can see we have the list of applications that is present. If you guys can see over here, I'm actually using using the system's default uninstallation feature. So if you click on uninstall, it will actually show the list of applications. So if I don't need some applications, I can directly uninstall from my phone itself. For example, we don't need the Google Home applications, Google Play Music. I don't need the Mi Credit application and just click on uninstall these apps and all these apps gets uninstalled from the phone itself. As you can see, the phone actually has cleared all the apps uh, from the device itself. So you don't need any third party tool or anything as such. We'll use another method for uninstalling some of the applications. I actually use a third party app called burner guard for this process i was checking a lot of third party apps on the google play store this was one of the app which was suggested to uninstall the application there is no reason why i am using this application i just got it on the google play store and i got to know that this is made by tech burners team there is a feature called bulk uninstall over here as you can see when i'm using the bulk uninstall feature you can actually uninstall apps such as a keyboard for xiaomi you can uninstall the me store application and you can uninstall also many other applications which is present such as the wallpaper carousal or something and once you hit on uninstall on the bottom uh, the these applications will get uninstalled from your smartphone. So this is the second step of the bloatware uninstallation process. Now the third step of bloatware uninstallation is to remove the apps such as the get apps. So now what I'll do is I'll just connect my smartphone to the computer and I'll use something called as the Xiaomi bloatware removal tool with the help of which we can uninstall any application that is present on our smartphone completely. So guys before we go to that process what we have to do is we have to go to the settings over here. We have to actually use the about phone and just tap on MIUI version for seven times. You will enable something called as developer options and just go to the additional settings in the additional settings just go to something called as developer options that is present over here and in the developer options just enable the usb debugging guys you will be having the usb debugging that is present as you can see the usb debugging mode is present over here turn on the usb debugging it will say this warning uh, just read the message and click on the accept feature that is present as you can see just click on accept usb debugging for your device will be actually turned on so once you turn on the usb debugging next step is to connect your smartphone to your computer using the usb cable that has been provided so as you guys can see i am now connecting the smartphone to my computer over here it works on all the type of computers guys it works on the windows machines it works on the mac machines it also works on the linux machines as well once you actually connect your smartphone to the computer it will actually show this prompt over here a usb for file transfer just click on file transfer over there and also in the notification shared usb debugging is turned on as you can see we have the usb debugging turned on i'll actually record the screen of my computer and i'll explain you guys the next process and once everything is complete let's come back to the smartphone and also check out how many applications we were able to successfully delete so as you guys can see i am on my computer right now and i am visiting the google chrome web browser and this is the link that i'll be opening on my browser and the link has been provided in the description guys just visit this link and you can download this tool on your linux computer or on your mac computer or on your windows computer as well and the file is somewhere around 20 mb and you have to just click on this file and the file will get downloaded onto your computer this this file has to be extracted onto your computer to get the Xiaomi ADB fastboot tool. So just wait for some time until this file gets downloaded and you can go ahead and extract it. And I am using something called as 7-zip for extracting this zip file guys. This is an open source tool which is supported on all kinds of computers. And once I extract the zip file, as you can see, I am getting this Xiaomi ADB fastboot tools. Just go ahead and open this tool and you will get the USB debugging prompt onto your computer. And once you allow the USB debugging prompt on the computer, you will be successfully connected to the Xiaomi ADB fastboot tools onto your computer. And as you can see, it says the code name is Sweet N and the bootloader is locked. Now let's go ahead and actually uninstall the applications from our smartphone. So the first app that I want to uninstall is the App Vault. So these are the list of apps that will be present on our system and it shows over here along with the package names. 
just click on app vault i don't like the app vault so i just want to uninstall app vault so please don't uninstall the miui cleaner guys it might lead to boot loop and recovering from boot loop is a very difficult process the next app that you want to uninstall is facebook manager facebook services and all those facebook group of applications and get apps please uninstall get apps guys and the next application is google one application which i don't use anytime and this was not able to uninstall directly from the phone next app is the me cloud i never use me cloud services next app that i will be uninstalling is msa that stands for miui system ads with the help of which the advertisements will be pushed to our system and if i uninstall this applications msa we will be able to stop the ads up to some extent me credit it me pay me wallpaper and me music application these are some of the apps that i never use on my system so that's why i am uninstalling these apps me notes also i am not using so instead i use the google keep that is the notes application uninstall the me notes as well and once everything is set and once you review everything is good to go just click on uninstall over there and click on proceed and click on yes and on the left side window it says the applications are getting uninstalled successfully and the result says success if any result gives failed that means that app could not be uninstalled from our smartphone now just go to the device tab over here and once you click on device tab reboot to system just remove your smartphone that was connected from your computer so guys we have uninstalled all the applications that was bloatware on our device it feels really smooth and really clean as you can see in the app drawer all the application which were the bloatware has been uninstalled successfully we have uninstalled the get apps application the google one application and many other applications because of this process the software experience on the redmi note 10 pro max feels really neat and clean the first step in removing ads from our redmi note 10 pro max was to remove the msa service that was present on our device by using the bloatware removal tool and once that is done what we'll have to do is while installing any application we'll get a lot of ads in this window so just click on the gear icon and go to this window and just turn off the receive recommendations that is present if you turn off receive recommendation you will not get any ads in this window while scanning for applications during the installation process of your applications then the third step of removing the ads from your device is to actually turn off a setting that is present in the settings application to get the personalized ads and recommendation just go to the settings on your device and just search for personalized ads that is present and if you just turn off the personalized ads you will not receive any ads on your device and this process can also be done while setting up your smartphone as well while setting up the smartphone you will get a window where you can actually turn off all the ads and recommendation as you can see we have the personalized ad recommendation just click on the personalized ad recommendation and here you can turn off all the ads and recommendations that you get through notification or through the pop up ads or through any window ads or anything and with the help of which we can turn off all the ads that is present on our system completely that's it for this video guys if you guys have liked this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and we are bringing a lot more videos on the redmi note 10 pro max please subscribe to the channel for more interesting content like this one thank you for watching guys